This is an overview of the team member grid widget for Elementor by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, make sure you have Unlimited Elements for Elementor installed on your WordPress website. If you don't have it installed yet, you can go to Plugins and install it via the plugin directory. Inside of Unlimited Elements, jump into Team Members category and you're going to want to search for Team Members Grid. Hover over the widget and click Install. It will install it into your widgets pane inside of Elementor. Inside of the widgets pane, search for team member grid and drag and drop the widget inside of your Elementor page. What this widget does, it creates a grid layout out of all your team members. Over here, you can decide the number of columns that you want to show. For example, if I change this to two, we will have two columns. The grid gap changes the spacing between each item so for example, if I'll change this to 40, the, the gap will be much bigger. Down here, we can add some button text. So later on, I'll show you how to turn on the button. And we can decide the placement of each element. For example, the image placement can be in the header, in the content, or we can even hide that if we have a layout without any images. The title can also be in each place, in the header, in the content, and in the over overlay. Overlay means the overlay that is over the image once you hover over the item. So we can place items over the image. We'll show that on later. We can also hide or show the text and change the icons also to be uh, on the overlay, for example. And let's turn on the button just to see how that looks. That's the button. Awesome. Inside of items, we can manage our items. So let's just click on one of these, select a different image, click insert. And over here, you can also delete items if you need to. So you can see I just deleted one of the items. And inside of here, I'll put my name, Amit Karen, web creator. You can put in your text. The text shows up here about the icon management so if you decide that you need less than three social icons then you can just click none on one of these and it will disappear from the list if you want to show it back you can just choose a different icon for example i'll put my pinterest icon so let's click insert of course to support custom icons you can also make a call button or whatever you want and let's minimize this go back here in general and i think we're all set to go let's change the button text to download resume awesome layout let's jump into style and see how we can style this so the first thing is for the items themselves you can make the border bigger let's make that three pixels and make that a darker black you can make this a little bit more rounded if you want to. And the next thing I'm going to do is jump into the header. And let's check out how you can align different parts. So in the header right now, we only have our image. You can also add a header background if you want to. And let's jump into image. Over here inside of the image, I'm going to change the radius to zero and the width to 100 percent let's push up the height just so you can see a different kind of layout let's jump back into content and inside of content i'm going to choose an icons placement i'm going to move them to be inside of the overlay and now you can see that you can see the icons only once you hover over each item Inside of style, you can also change the different parts. For example, if you want to change the content part or maybe the item, let's change the item to zero over here. And now you can see the image is full width. It doesn't have any margins on the sides, which looks pretty cool. Inside of the image, let's just make sure the image width is 100%. And now we need some spacing in the bottom part over here, which is called content. So in the content, 
I'm going to add 50 pixels and that makes everything all set. Let's jump into the title over here. You can see there's 20 pixels spading, pasting margin top. Just going to turn that off and you can change the title color, typography and shadow. You can do this for subtitle and text as well. Let's just change the title typography maybe to something that's handwritten. So let me search for a cool font over here. Make that a little bit bigger. And this looks awesome. So that was a quick overview of the team member grid. This is a good widget for if you have staff or employees that you want to showcase or your team, your startup team on your website. We the the big advantage of this is that when you edit, it edits all the boxes together. So all the changes apply to everyone. And that's about it. So thank you guys for joining and I'll see you in the next video.